through the way with Jazz and Tay. It's your girl Jazz and Shantae. And before the break, we did a weekly recap as well as our The Ways and Not The Way. Um, I'm still sick um, and that's not the way. And <laughs> Communion Seattle is definitely the way. <laughs> What's the way for you, Shantae? A lot of things. It What's is. Not that's the right. way is people still complaining about the vaccine. And I think that's, yeah, and I think that's what we really need to take away. Yeah. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into our review of the week. Excuse yes. me. My, um, I'm going to start off with mine. Shantae and I both have been watching um, some shows and I really wanted to review mine because I, I've been watching Made on Netflix, M-A-I-D. So it is definitely, you know, like the, the cleaning people, <laughs> the house cleaners made. Um, when people were first talking about it, I was thinking like M-A-D-E and I'm like, ah, what am I going to get out of this? But um, <laughs> it's currently number two on Netflix. Um, it's got a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes and an 8.6 on IMDb. And it's only been out since October 1st. So it's only been out for two weeks. Is it number two behind the closer special? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So or um, Squid Games. Squid Games is no, number one. It's still Squid Games I, is still I, number as one. As far as last night when I saw it, but are you kidding me? Oh. Though? Yeah. <laughs> people. Okay. Side note, real quick. People have not bit like watched Squid. It is. It really is. So the closer is actually number four, and Shameless for whatever reason is number three. I cannot believe they really have another season of you that. You guys, show. I'm over it. Sorry. Okay, but let's let's sorry. Let's get back on track. <laughs> um. But um. I I I first started watching it because someone says that it takes place in Washington, so it's like super relatable. And then I found out that it was actually based off of a true story. And so naturally when you, yeah, so naturally when you hear that, like, you know, it's, it's a local type of thing and it's based off of a true story, I, I'm naturally way more like invested and, and interested in it. But um, it was a really, really beautifully sad story about a um, mom, a lady who she left an abusive relationship, um, was pretty, pretty much had like nothing and basically tries to do whatever she can to provide for herself and her daughter and, and make a better life for herself. And all while dealing with the struggles of like, you know, her her mom isn't necessarily all the way there for her and her dad wasn't there for her growing up and she didn't really know why. And then throughout this process, she realizes and finds out why. And, you know, she hits all kinds of road bumps along the way. And it's really like, it's really heart wrenching. Like there's a few times where you probably could cry, um, but it does end on, I would think, I'd say like a beautiful note. Um, there's 10 episodes. It's definitely worth watching. Um, there's one parallel in there that I do want to point out. She ended up um, being a house cleaner and made for this lady on Fisher Island who be this beautiful house. I guess she was like a lawyer or something. Um, she's a black woman and the main character is a white lady. And um, so, and, and, the, and this black woman was horrible to her. Just, you know, literally treated her like the help. And I was just like, you know, thinking about how, you know, we always, we as black people always talk about how, you know, like if roles were reversed, you know, what would we do? And I'm just like, dang, I'm, I was gonna say. you know, I was like, dang, you really just out here treating her like garbage. Um, yeah, but then, <laughs> so I was like rooting for her because I was like, heck, heck yeah, you strong, independent black woman, you know, whatever. And then I was like, ooh. I don't really like the attitude towards her a lot, but hey, it was it was <laughs> nice to see the 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 parallel there. But anyways, um, I definitely recommend it. Um, I give it like a ten out of ten. Um, it's really easy. It's a really easy watch. There's only the one season, and um, I think you can if you Google it, you can find out more about like the real life um, Alex and Maddie. That's that's their names. So. That's my review of Made. Yeah, some big wow. actors. I mean, Andy McDowell's in it, and she's been in quite a few films, and she's been in the history. Is Andy McDowell the mom? Uh, she, it's Paula. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Paula. So Paula, yeah. So okay. Andy McDowell, mm -hmm. that is that is who plays the mom. And then um, the dad, the, her dad, is actually Charlie from Twilight. <laughs> so the Burke? guy that the guy that plays Bella's dad, that's who is uh, okay. Alex's oh. dad in this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then, um, and then, do you remember um, 
the, remember the haunting of Hill House? Remember the the second one that came out that was like that tragic love story or whatever? Yeah. You know how there was that guy, the groundskeeper, that Indian guy. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, he's also in it. <laughs> he has he has a few shirtless scenes, and he actually looks pretty. Tasty. Now we know why. Shut up! Like why? Are we <laughs> Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> Truth be told. <laughs> the only person I remember from that um, haunting of Hill House is the guy who ended up killing everybody, killing his lover or whatever. Wasn't that what happened? No, 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 no. It's okay. We'll talk about it. But let's talk about your review of the week. Um, my review of the week is a Chicago Med. I've been deeply in engulfed in the Chicago franchise. You Just keep Chicago Med, to be honest. You keep t- uh, tweeting about it. Yeah. Um, I started Chicago PD like a long time ago. I feel like when it started and I never continued because cable, you know, I don't have it. So (laughs) I do now. So I really could catch up, but they make it really hard for you to watch past seasons if you Mm. weren't watching it like when it was out. And if it's not on Netflix or any other streaming services, you're just going to have to like pick up where they are. But Chicago Med is extremely good i'm obsessed with it um i would liken it to you know gray's anatomy or law and order svu oh Um, okay really yeah like it's basically just a drama show based in an ed in chicago med i've never in chicago i've never watched um gray's anatomy but um i love me some svu so yeah and, oh, yeah. and I would say the same for the rest of them. Like, if you like Law & Order SCU, you'd probably really like Chicago PD. And they do a lot of crossovers. So they have Chicago Med, Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, and they're coming out with Chicago Justice. Oh, my too. God. That's so much. Yeah. What? Um, honestly, if they're going to hit get... every... They're going to have Chicago EMT. But what would be cool <laughs> is if they made the franchise even bigger and did all major cities. So then, like, I feel like they're... Don't get me to lying, but I feel like there's a Seattle one, but I think you're right. No, there is fire Seattle PD because I just think it would be cool to like see the different um, situations that can happen. Like in Chicago Med, a lot of the like they always get gunshot victims, which a lot of people know South Side, I guess, like the South Side of Chicago, I guess gunshot wounds are a big thing in Chicago. Yeah. And And every time. It, like there's a gunshot wound, which I now know the terminology. It's a GSW. I'm like, uh-huh. oh, somebody's been shot. <laughs> They're like, we got a GSW. Go to Baghdad. I'm like, somebody's been shot again. You know what like- I learned too is that in Chicago, they've there's only a certain amount of hospitals that can treat them now, and they're actually like interesting. Yeah, I read somewhere that like the 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 two closest hospitals that are like in the heart of like where the it's the like the roughest parts of Chicago they actually don't do gunshot wounds and you have to go like farther out so you so you've been shot and now you have to go like 30 40 minutes out of like where you're at just to get treated for a GSW because of how many they have so interestingly enough they do that a lot too they kind of show like oh well you know east mercy doesn't have the resources to deal with this so we have to do it and i'm like you guys are literally always dealing with something like it'll be like the episode before they had an active shooter in the freaking hospital and then the next episode it's like an outbreak of some kind of like staph infection i'm like is everybody okay from that last incident and like why is there no continuity like Literally, there was one episode recently where there was an outbreak and one of the doctors ended up getting assaulted. Like he was hit over the head and was like bleeding from his head. And that's how they left the episode, right? Next episode, everything's fine. He's good. He's back at work. I'm like, I'm confused because what happened to that (laughs) storyline? I'm assuming everything is good because we've moved on. But like it was intense it was an intense episode and now here we are and he's just up back at work no therapy needed they do have a therapist in the show that i love his name is dr charles he's my favorite uh character i think Mm -hmm. uh but all in all love the show definitely recommend it um i do wish that i was caught up to the most recent season season seven Seven. uh, because i really want to like talk to people on twitter about it because there's so much that happens and well, I'm like, you can get there. You're almost I'm there. I'm like, look, um, does anybody else see the pattern of behavior with some of these doctors? Like some of them are just reckless, mm-hmm. just like reckless. And I'm like, how am I six seasons in and you're still, you're more reckless than you were in season one. What is happening? You are going yeah. backwards, sir, That's or ma'am. Yeah. So, 
Um, so yeah, that's that's Chicago Med. I really hope that after I finish it, um, I can go into one of the other franchises and find it easily, like an easy place to stream. Um, but that's our, our reviews of the week. Definitely check out uh, Made and Chicago Med. You can watch both of them on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Chicago Med has a total of seven seasons. They're on the seventh season now and on live cable television. So you can watch up to season five on Netflix and then season six you can find on peacock for free and they have season seven on it as well up to just where they have episodes where they're at yep so definitely check those out we're gonna go ahead and jump into another quick break so that we have some time to talk about our hot topic today stay tuned you're listening to the way with jazz and tay I want to da-da-da-oh, cause you so thick, girls call me Jolly Rancher, oh, cause I stay so hard, you can suck me for a long time, oh my, 